Hey guys, Repsonis here, back with another video. In this video, we're gonna remake this new Metroid style track, What Happened. I think we came really close to the original, so the final result sounded like this. And now I'm here awake. So, if you have more crazy bass presets like this, make sure to check Bass House Room 3 in the description. And the preset back, we got 50 more other presets in the style of Metroid S. So, if you want that, make sure to check the link down below. So now let's dive into the presets. The track consists of two presets, this lead one, and this bass line. So first let's start off with the lead. These two are quite simple sounds, so we're gonna remake them both from scratch. First one is a saw wave, lower down to octaves. With loads of detune, elf unisons, detune around here, snack monogato, always, portamento, to give the slight effect. Shape envelope too like this to add some punch to the sounds. Then we're gonna roll LFO1 to the fine tune. To give it some more dirty character. A bit too much so uh, something like this. And the sub there it out. Add a sub bass to it. And that's it for us later, so now the effects. First of all, I have dimension. Only for the dimension part, just to widen it up a bit more. Some distortion, some hard clip. Then I'm gonna give it some chorus. And some OTT. really thicken up the sound. Then we're gonna EQ it a bit more. So we're gonna cut off those and remove the sub bass. We're gonna dip the highs a little bit. Then we're gonna give some more release. We're gonna add some delay. And we're gonna add quite a lot of reverb. So we're gonna mix around here. And we're gonna add three to the mix. What this will do is, it will only enable the reverb when the notes are stopped playing, so... In the track it will give this effect. So it needs a little bit lower decay. And that's it for the saw lead, so now let's dive into the bass line. It's quite low bass, almost saw bass, but we're not gonna go for the, for the sound wave. We're gonna go for the saw right into the square, because that... The wave table has a bit more character into it. So lower down to octaves and enable the filter. Then we're gonna shape LF01 right to the level and cut off, select the trigger and on the rate to 116. Shape it like this. Add some smoothness to the sound to make it a bit less static. Add some dry fatness, some resonance. Shape the cut off a bit more. I'm gonna go for the low 24. Add mono to the voicing. And dive into effects. We're gonna add a down sample to it. That's the key factor to the sound. As you can hear, this will really give that higher harmonic that you hear in the original. So we're gonna set the drive to 29%. And we're gonna route LF1 to the wavetable position as well. Just fine tune it. Further is a bit too open, I think, so. Should be something like this. So, in the track, it's not like this. And that's it. So, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in the next videos.